Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Nobody's Watching Wrestling Podcast. Hello. <laughs> what a- would you do if you woke up and you were the lead singer of Godsmack? Post in the comments below. What a deep philosophical question. Didn't Godsmack do a wrestling song once? I think so. That sounds like probably they something did. they'd do. Like yeah. ECW era, probably. Yeah, I, that sounds right. Anyway, this is the podcast where we take a once a month look at everything that happened uh, in the wrestling month. And some things that will happen. Um, we have so many shows coming up this month that we like probably don't even want to bother listing them all. So like just like we'll link them below maybe we can do we'll do like a quick rundown you have heard us do this before and you will hear us do it but we've added things too you won't hear us do it again actually after this 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 is it yeah if you're here for wrestlemania week get into it okay so what are we what day are we starting with wednesday wednesday you have something first i'll be at battle club women crush wednesday show doing commentary come say hi it's like the card is fucking insane, and I'm so excited about it. Ariel and I that evening will be doing a talk show called The Special without Brett, Brett Davis uh, at MNN, MNN Studios. You can go to brettdavis.rip uh, to find out uh, how you can get tickets. You can come be in the audience if you want. We'll be there with Dalton Castle and Meltzer. And Lita. And Lita will That's be there, too. Crazy. You're meeting so many cool people. I'm also meeting a lot of cool people. I mean, we're meeting at least one cool person. <laughs> Ooh. Berica has a secret plan to maybe pop off. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's not so secret anymore. Well, no. you well, know, no one knows again. The secret is speaking it into existence. I just did it. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, the secret is also that even Berica doesn't really know what she's going to do. <laughs> so it's a secret even to herself. Yeah. I can't wait. Then on Thursday, we'll be hanging out at a Matter of Pride. Matter of Pride, Diva Mania. It's at Lucky Ching's. Yeah. So go to it. It'll be fun. That's just, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. We won't bother us there. We will not even be in drag. No, come say hi. You can come say hi. Um, I won't be in drag. You won't recognize me. Come say hi. We'll be hi. Um, Nothing Friday. Saturday, we're going to start off with Tasselmania at Drum uh, for a very quick appearance to say hello. Uh, we're going to follow that up with the Gay Young Classic at Bedlam. That's going to be starting at 11 p.m. and going until we are goddamn done. Oh, my God. So many people are going to be there. Uh, it. Please go to our website and or our uh, Twitter or our Instagram or our Facebook and figure out uh, why you want to be there because there's a hundred reasons. Pick one. If you're a website maker, maybe uh, approach us about doing a website for us because we don't have one. <laughs> no. Uh, and... Yeah. And then Sunday we are uh, hosting a WrestleMania viewing party. Yeah. Our Wicked Lady. Again, just uh, go on our social medias and shit. Yeah. It's all there. It's, it's all, all there. there. If you're exhausted hearing it, we're going to be exhausted doing it. Let me tell you. And then, ya. like, maybe don't bother us for a few days. Come. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, we're not going to bother each other for a few days. Oh, yeah. And then, like, we don't love gummy bears and pot and alcohol. Just like bring us gifts because it's going to be a hard week. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun, though. Yeah, no, it's going to be really fun. A <laughs> million percent publicizing the fuck out of my Amazon wish list, like the day after that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I just survived and I deserve a present. Yeah. Uh, Amazon gift out, mania. I picked out the overpriced streetwear jacket that I'm going to buy to reward myself <laughs> yes. for surviving. If you'd oh. like to buy me something, I would. I wanted to get a Becky wig. So buy me a Becky wig. Like a Becky Lynch wig. Yeah. Yeah. Not like a Becky, like Beyonce Becky wig. Right. Just yeah. clarifying. Yeah. Um, that's it. Yeah, we're done. Subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah, we've got a Patreon. Uh, if you want to give us money but get something for it, go to Patreon.com/slash The Nobodies. There's yeah. a link below. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so what are we actually talking um, about? Um. Well, first off, we have just like this whole business of what happened with Charlotte on this past Tuesday. Tell me about it. So. Tuesday rolls around. Asuka still doesn't have a Mania match because they don't know what to do with her. She's the fucking SmackDown Women's Champion. How do they not know what to do with her? Right, exactly. They just have, they don't have any ideas. So Charlotte rolls in and uh, beats her clean in a match for the title. So now the Mania match is the main event, which... That's cool. The main event of WrestleMania will be Charlotte with the SmackDown title... Ronda with the Raw title and Becky with no title. 
And Asuka just still doesn't have a match. And Asuka is no longer at Mania, except maybe in the Battle Royale. Okay. But, so we're just not, but. <laughs> Go on, what are you can Just a bunch about? of white bitches in the main event. Yeah, that's a problem. I shouldn't say bitches. They're fine. <laughs> I, I just don't understand how one could create a universe where that was considered to be a good idea. Go on, mm. what's your problem with it? Um, that Asuka will not be doing uh, the match. That's uh-huh. that's the that's whole thing. It's that like she, uh, why wouldn't you put Asuka in basically every match? <laughs> she should be thrown into more matches. Like at least once a show, she should just pop up and be like, "I'm gonna kick your ass!" Like <laughs> <laughs> they don't ever have to book her to lose. I no one cares to see her lose anything. Mm. No, and it, then just like, and the idea that then losing means well, then we just won't put you in uh, WrestleMania. It's like. No, it's the biggest event of their year. Um, it's it's like telling Santa Claus you don't need him this Christmas. <laughs> like the reindeer got this. Like wait, no. Wait. So in this situation, Oscar's Santa Claus? Yeah, she's just delivering a bag full of beatdown to everyone who wants one. <gasps> Hashtag bag full of beatdown. <laughs> She's going to come down your chimney and kick your chimney down. Oh, don't come down my chimney. She can come down my chimney. Oh. This just sounds That sounded sexually very bad. I didn't mean it. Well, Everyone. Uh, yeah, you said it. Um <laughs> It's our bad. Ariel it just silently you. sighed into the microphone. Oops. Uh, the other, the rumor was that Oscar and Mandy Rose were supposed to have a match at Mania, but like no one cared. Why? So they were like, well, just take it off of Oscar. That's just a rumor, but like, <laughs> why don't? Maybe Oscar's going to AEW. No, no, she's still under contract. Yeah. Um, they could have just booked like 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 six random ass girls versus Oscar. You know, like literally yeah. anyone, and it would have been a handicap match, and then she murders all of them, and then everyone goes sure. happy. Sure, Oscar versus five audience members. <laughs> Whatever. Well, don't you think that they'll have her come out during the main event? No, I don't think so. Really, the, the rumor is that after Mania, the main characters of the women's division will be like Charlotte. Becky and Lacey Evans and everyone else is getting like kind of like barf. I mean, I love Becky, but the other two can go. (sighs) I mean, it's, I have nothing against those three. I just think that it's possible for more than three women to exist. There's a lot of great women. Yeah. It just seems silly. Like, well, these are our main characters and everyone else we can just like not care about. Cause you would just, wouldn't really have that with a men's division of like, oh, well, we have three dudes. That seems like enough. Everyone else just sort of what like do you think a lot that- of the men's divisions, though, like the like men's intercontinental divisions or whatever, like they only really only have like three main characters at a time. Yeah, I guess that's not true. that I like am like, obviously, they should just have more women. What if they did us versions of the main characters? What? Like, like the, the movie Jordan us? Peele movie. What if they did what? Us versions of the main characters. How would they, pr- how would they do know. this as a plot? I don't know. What does this mean? Everything. <laughs> we just watched Us. It's on my mind. It was good. What would the Us version of Charlotte look like? Charlotte. That's uh, the it, point. It would, <laughs> look, it would look like Charlotte in a red jumpsuit. Yeah. You saw the movie. Oh, but... <sighs> it looks just like Charlotte. Oh. That's Which, how it works. Oh, I guess she'd just wear that red jumpsuit. Yeah, she'd... <laughs> you got it. That's... That, you, that's it. That's the movie. We saw it together. Oh like yesterday, right? What would, what would her hair? She wouldn't have extensions. You don't have extensions in the Us universe. So what? It's her hair. Like, like, it so sounds like less a, hair is what you're saying? So it's her, but without the extensions. Maybe in Ring you're Gear Remix. You're just talking this out in real time. You're figuring it out. Maybe in the Ring Gear Remix, we just do Us versions of people. That's going to be really That's basically don't need to do that because three. they all wear the same thing. <laughs> They have different hair, and maybe they have burned mouths or eyes. Oh my god! What is the next topic? <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> also, you snorted directly into the microphone, and I'm gonna have to edit that out. No, it's fine. Okay, so that Kenny Omega documentary came out. Yeah, where was that at? Uh, it's on YouTube right now. Oh, the only thing I know about it is that he did not come out. Right. I'm not surprised by that in the slightest. <laughs> 
Was that we're, You've we're, been calling it. Were people really sure yes. that that was going to happen? Yes. You were uh, really optimistic about it. I was not. I just oh. was saying there are rumors. Oh. Oh, I yeah. It never dawned on me for a second that he actually would. Um, there was... So one thing that led people to believe that he might was that Meltzer had seen it a while ago. And when someone asked him how it was, he kind of got weirdly cagey about it and was like, I can't really talk about it. You'll have to like see it. It's worth watching. So like people thought because like everyone is crazy speculating Mm. that like he was saying that because he came out and then like... Meltzer was trying to respect that movie as is coming out. But that seems now in retrospect quite overly elaborate. That's a that's a big leap to make. It's <laughs> yeah. like I can't talk about it. Well, it must be because Dumbledore is gay. <laughs> Kenny Omega's not gay because JK Rowling hasn't tweeted that he's gay yet. That's the Oh my god. <laughs> That's how it works. I made a Harry Potter joke. You did. Did you see that video like somebody made of uh JK Rowling? It was no. like a shit jk rowling says type of thing no it was just basically like arguing with jk rowling about why everybody was gay it was so funny anyway that's fine you should look it up i don't know why we make a list of topics (laughs) it's so i can divert from them yeah yeah also i'd like to point out that i intentionally seeded berica away from things to fidget with (laughs) and she has brought a pocket full of shit I put most of my shit away from me, if you'll notice. We actually talked about hiding things from you (laughs) You before the podcast so that you wouldn't play with them. That's why this table is clean. Like a cat. Oh, my God. This must be how Marty and Sarah feels about their cat screaming during every episode. (laughs) I just am a fidgeter. I know. That's why I can't even get through thoughts. I mean, I barely can get through thoughts on their own. If I don't have something in my hands to fidget with most of the time, I'm probably never going to get anywhere. Have you tried out one of those fidget box things? <sighs> I don't know what that is. They make too much noise, so I'm not getting you one. I I used to have this keychain. I still do somewhere that uh, my grandparents had at their house, and I took when they died, and that helps. Maybe I should get that, but it's also clicky and weird. Nothing jangly, please. How about this roll of tums that I'm just like. Sweeping through my fingers. Yeah, that's very quiet. I'm okay with that. Okay. You can play with the tum. Not next to the mic. <laughs> She's literally a cat. She's just oh. like, oh, you put this water oh here? God. What if I just knocked it over? <laughs> you did that at the show that last night. night. <laughs> I get really excited. I talk with my hands. And if there's anything nearby, I probably should scoot away from this n- nice looking lamp. Um, I get excited. And my hands go over. Okay. I'm just going to Christina Aguilera this mic, and that might help. Do what you got to do. Okay. Um, do we need to talk any more about Kenny Omega still not having a defined so, sexuality? So what someone told me, which I hated and wish I never heard, was that I haven't watched it yet, so literally I'm talking out of my ass, but apparently what he does talk about in the documentary is that um, – he had a very special relationship with Kota Ibushi and that it was like a very special friendship and he wanted to like show a different kind of male friendship that like you don't see everywhere. So although it is not coming out, he is trying to do something progressive and like That's cool. also represent people showing affection in different ways and stuff. That's cool. Cause people in different countries actually do show affection in different ways. I don't think it was about the country aspect. I don't think it, <laughs> not necessarily Japan is not what I'm right. saying, but there are other cultures who men show affection in different ways. Sure. Like they'll hold hands in Africa. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't yeah. mean anything. It's just friendship. Yeah. So that's cute. Um, I don't think we need to talk about his sexuality anymore. He yeah. doesn't want to talk about it. The answer seems clear. Yeah. Yeah. And yet, I'm sure I will be driven into several debates on the internet about Cool. This. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, this is not the last we are going to ta- be talking about. We would like to put it away. I mean, that's also in part not our fault because of how plot lines are booked with him. Yes. Like, I don't... It's, I don't think it will happen anymore. That's good. I think he's he's going to AEW. He's a singles competitor. He's not going to be in a tag team. They're not going to show him as a romantic character. Perfect. Good. Which is kind of like, fine. Whatever. I'm happy with that. Good for her. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Say that again. That was funny. Good for her. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Oh, great. Oh, God. Um, cool. As if I haven't been on Facebook enough this week. <laughs> so Roman is back. He's wrestling again. Wonderful. Cool. 
they're selling Roman Reigns t-shirts with a cancer ribbon on it mm. and not giving a single penny to any Ooh. charity. <laughs> no. Mm. Oh. And, and they're like incorporating it into his gear, like the oh. ribbon design. So they're literally just monetizing his cancer. Yep. They're just like, you know what's going to make us more money is to milk this whole leukemia angle as if it's... <laughs> wow. Wow. That is rich. When do we get to stop watching WWE? Like, I really hope soon. Can uh, Let's make it a goal that if AOW is good, we just don't do WWE anymore. I'm yeah. actually fucking sick of it. Um, also, I hope you never stop calling it A&W. Did I say AEW? It's my accent. AEW. A&W? Yeah. A&W Root Beer. That would be a great collaboration. That's your I almost promotion. had an A&W Root Beer today. Now I really want one. Anyway, Cody, if you're listening, one, why? Two, uh, just uh, move it along. We really need to start only talking about your content. Yeah. Also, hashtag Ariel as the librarian. This is one of my topics. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So we are just naturally going to Let's move go on. back into that. Ooh. Ariel didn't realize until last night that this was literally the the highest, le- highest viewed nobody's Thing content. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Um, that stupid one minute video um, that I. So, again, I want to stress Accident Report was like, you have to film a promo. And I was like, I guess. And I just. I, while I was showering, I was like, well, uh, what what are some book puns? So I just like shampooed my hair Shut and thought about up. book puns. And then I found those glasses in that cardigan. I oh, did one God. take of that video and then was like, okay, we're good to go. That You won the mini challenge. I just thought You I won the mini challenge. <laughs> what are you, the third most viewed? Something Le- like LeBron? that. Um, and I just thought that uh, we – it was kind of like my thought process with – the whole nobody's watching wrestling thing. I was like, oh, good, we'll upload this and then we'll never have to speak of it again. Seriously. It turns out. <laughs> what? I mean, this could be the rest of your life. Here's the thing mm-hmm. how fucking dope would Ariel be as that character? So good. Like, there would never have been anything in wrestling like that before where there's just like a character that auditioned on the internet, they picked a fucking drag queen because they're uh-huh. cool, and like, then she's a character in the fucking whole series. Like, what the fuck? That means. You and I will have to do a lot more work while she's gone. They don't. How many events are they doing? I don't know. They might get on TV. Yeah. Errol, I, Errol's got a job now. Yeah. I already have a job, but I'll take another. Um, listen, listen, everyone, uh, continue to tweet at Cody and AEW Wrestling. Or it could a- happen. AEW Wrestling is a it's at AEW and like at all the places. Uh, let them know that you want me uh, to be on TV once in a while. <laughs> That's all I, I just know. love you rolling up, like the thought of you rolling up with a book a card of books to like <laughs> like educate to them. just like it's like it's like and it's like, like the new oh god what's the smart character that we reviewed with Colt what's his name the, the genius. genius the genius is like the new genius yeah except, except you won't be wrestling you're not no. wrestling you're just nope. throwing shade in books yeah and literally reading to people I wonder what they have planned for that character. I don't know. I think it kind of, it probably depends on who they, they pr- might not have like set plans. I bet you be, could do a little bit of training and do a little bit of wrestling. Sure. But I, th- I would bet you that their plan She's willing. for, hear, you hear that Cody? She's willing to learn. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be wearing padding. So like I'll take, oh, a, yeah. I'll take a bump on some like important places. Think about the clothes budget. Yeah. They'll, that, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's Look, they, high drag. Even if it's just you and Brandy going shopping or going to the library <laughs> together. Yeah. What if you and Brandy are going to read books together? Like study <laughs> date. Nice. Study date. <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't want to watch that? <laughs> Two people silently reading books. If or maybe or maybe you're tutoring Cody and Brandy gets jealous. Uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh. tutor, tutor. Toot mm. her. Erica, do you want to read some Becky Lynch tweets in ASMR voice? All right. You have some pulled up? Uh, no, but I can't. Should I go on there? Yeah. I can go on there. Why don't you two make idle chatter for a second? And I'll oh. Idle chatter, airplanes, <laughs> buckwheat. I, I, I think that he meant more human conversation <laughs> and less singing nonsense. I love, I'm in, really into making Dada uh, folk songs uh, <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, 
Lady Berica Andrews needs so much help. There you go. Here's Becky Lynch's Oh, you got Twitter. to it first. I'm not um, surprised by that. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's just read, um, what do you call it? Just about the about her section on her Twitter first. I love her mug shots, too. Damn. Becky looking great. You're supposed to whisper it. Oh, yeah, so. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> we very much get the idea. Oh my god! I'm you have sleeping. to give you have to give accident report his phone back. Oh, I thought that was my phone. Nope, it was not. It's just not. I have the topics. Okay, so uh, Champa, Champa from NXT, Aww. familiar, bald, bald, mean man. Yeah, no, uh-huh. but sweet baby girl at Dis- Disneyland. Yeah, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that. Well, you've already talked about it. I know, but it's I just still we're it's in a gray area. But no one's complained yet. No um, one. Complain to listen, us? Yeah. Nothing listen. Nobody listening to this is ever going to complain to us about what we talk about. Do you think we're going to get like a cease and desist from Vince McMahon? It could. It could happen. What if Vince McMahon knew about us? What would he be? He's having meetings about us. <laughs> what do we do about these crazy drag queens? I what feel do we like do about these faggots? <laughs> if, if, I feel like it's the kind of thing where his brain literally wouldn't be able to process us. Like he would just see nothing. Yeah. Like he would Westworld robot it. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know what you're showing me. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Oh, what does it say? I don't see anything here. Yeah. Doesn't look like anything to me. Doesn't look like anything to me. Oh my God, Westworld's coming back, isn't it? Uh, doesn't look like anything to me. Anyway, um, my new show. Champa. Okay, nothing. so Champa, uh, IRL, real bad neck injury. Oh. <sighs> really? He's gone for at least a year. He literally oh. just got called up too, right? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. poor guy. And the complicated thing. You know, obviously that's horrible. I hope he gets better. He seems like a nice dad who <laughs> likes his kid. Um, but in wrestling story, this is bad for several reasons. Partially because there had been an entire story arc leading up to Johnny Gargano and Ciampa fighting for the NXT title that had literally been developed for probably two, three years. Mm. And it was about to conclude at this match. So Fuck. now... They don't know what to do with it. So now it's like Adam Cole is in the main event of NXT over Mania, which is like, they'll put on like a fun match, but it's sure. like, yikes, that sucks. And I just am so upset about it. I feel like they should do like a soap opera storyline where somebody got some, like Champa got plastic surgery and comes back looking completely different. I think they did that once in the 90s. That would be fun. Uh, that was very 90s soap opera shit. Yeah. For I think, sure. And like, then just like a new character. And like, yeah, it's a new character. Yeah, this is who that is now. Well, you know, for a really long time, Kane wore a mask. And mm-hmm. then like they pulled off the mask uh-huh. and it was like. A big deal. Yeah, it was a whole huge deal. Hmm. Now he's a mayor. I don't yeah, know. what did, he's a mayor. What did the House of Cards people do? Who? They just wrote in a, a woman character, right? No, it's like uh, oh, no, when, when Kevin, Kevin Spacey got like removed. Didn't they kill him on the show? I don't know. I don't watch it. That's why I, asked. I, don't know. I actually don't know either. I don't know either. Um, he I, did make some weird YouTube video as his character slash himself. Really? A year after he was like released, it was really weird. Oh yeah, he made he made a video about. Uh, it was like a he yeah, was like, in his kitchen a making a, a smoothie thing, or something. 
he was like being his character, but it was clear he was talking about himself and like how you so can't get rid of me or whatever. It was really unhinged and um weird. you have to see it it's really i don't want to watch that strange. no it's clear that he thought people would be on his side and it was just like oh no no we don't we don't oh, want you no, back. no we are okay with you being gone anyway that has nothing to do with uh champa no um <laughs> kind i of. i guess yeah i don't really know how you script that that is a conundrum yeah Poor Gargano, too. I know. It's so sad. It I like my him. Heart. I, I like, like them both, too. actually. I like them both a lot. It's fun. Yeah, they're just both very good at what they it's do. Fun. So sorry, um, sweet little babies. I NXT, mean, more time NXT, at Disneyland, though. Yeah, true. NXT, the other matches for the the big takeover are Bianca, Kyrie, Shayna, and Io in a four-way for the title. Great. Which sounds so lit. Phenomenal. Um and Velveteen Dream versus uh Bro Face. What's his name? Oh, you you see no Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle, bro. All right. (laughs) Oh, that'll actually be a fun match. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I I support all this. Yeah, it'll still be good. It'll still it'll be two hours long instead of seven hours long. Oh. So So how long did WrestleMania is? I think WrestleMania is seven hours long. Whoa. Can we get a Red Bull sponsorship for this? <laughs> <laughs> At Red Bull, everyone. Because it's long. Yeah, I'm Woo! so glad that I, w- oh. <laughs> I won that coffee thermos at our brunch, and I'm so bringing a thermos full of coffee to WrestleMania. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm being a thermos. I think they'll have coffee there. Maybe oh, that'll be the- Oh, great. They Maybe have, like, a kitchen. Oh, oh okay, never mind then. Maybe that'll be decidedly the first time I do mushrooms. Oh, um, just kidding. <laughs> um, I won't do that. Don't. That I would freak out. Yeah. Yeah. Really hard. We you need freak out like almost every night anyway. Yeah. Not almost every night. We need like a. V- Don't worry, the children. <laughs> I I'm mean, generally pretty fine. You're fine. This is just how you are. This your baseline is just. I know. Yeah. I'm, my baseline is real crazy. <laughs> Are there more topics? Um, okay. Kofi and Daniel Bryan are are also going f- to fight for, for, at Mania. Oh God, I would love to have faith that Kofi will win, but I just don't think that uh, the WWE is smart enough to let us have what we want. That. <laughs> I mean, maybe if Daniel Bryan breaks his neck again. Oh, let's not wish that upon him. I don't wish it. I'm just saying it's the only way. He has Are to there be physically... any person of color in WrestleMania up to win anything? Up to win anything. I mean, Kofi. Sasha is defending. Not so she's not up to win. She's defending, though. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I just have to have this Mania card in front of me. I can't. There's a, the spot. a hundred a million people. There's nine million matches, probably, if I were to think a little bit harder, probably. Maybe not, though. I don't... Uh, mm. It's... Just uh, just give uh, just give Kofi a belt. He should uh, receive one instantaneously upon walking in. He deserves it. He's deserved it for that a while. That would be cool. If he just walked hey, in there, like, belt. you know what? I'm sorry, we, so for- we forgot to give you this earlier. Gift bag, belt. Um, you, can, you know what? Just you have can a, actually just go. Have a rest. Have this belt. Just go get like a foot massage. Yeah, you probably a lot pancakes. of po- a lot of your body parts probably hurt from this job. So go ahead, get a massage. You know what I was thinking today? I was making pancakes, and I thought I was like, God, the new day must be so sick of eating pancakes in real life. Like they just have to smell pancakes. I just hate time. that there's no sauce for those pancakes. Yeah, where is they just do you mean just dry syrup? syrup? Yeah, syrup. Sauce? Can I? Yeah, well, it's a sauce. I knew what you meant. A syrup is a sauce. I don't know if that's true. A, so- a syrup is under the sauce umbrella, <laughs> like an sauce. aioli. We need to read the Wikipedia definition for sauces again. We forgot to do it in New Year's. A what? <laughs> Me and Ariel have this. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening now? You who's the crazy one? Wait, we'll do, we'll. You know what? We're gonna explain that during the bonus podcast. You need to pay sauce. five dollars on Patreon to get an explanation for that. It's worth it. 
Uh, it's not worth it. it might be, but honestly, you're just going to be wor- – you're going to wonder otherwise. That's my sales pitch oh. for our Patreon is if you want to know oh. what the fuck we're talking about, that we're is – thirsty for dollars and withholding stories from Oh, the That is the $5 bonus podcast. Um, oh, while we're uh, doing shout-outs, we're sponsored by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. You can go to blackphoenixalchemylab.com to purchase any number of fine fragrances, including ours. Nobody's watching wrestling. What scent are you wearing today? Uh, I am wearing Suffragium, which is uh, one of the Lilith blends from this year. That's nice. I haven't smelled that one. Smells like a blend of different woods. I've been mixing lately. Um, A little bit of Rose Red and the Fighter, which is like a rose scent and then a leather scent mixed together. Very, I'm like mixing, you know, fruity and feminine with like leather and tough that's lovely i'm wearing uh, a lot or, of smokestack lately mm, it's like what's it that smells like, like a, a witch burning a sacrifice cool uh, like faggots oh burning faggots i mean yeah yes okay <laughs> <laughs> um oh oh this is come this podcast is coming out on april 1st so we can actually announce the mix nobody perfume is for sale oh oh there we go yeah it's um, for sale. It's, it's for here. sale. We did it. We made a perfume. It smells like lime and weed and uh, linoleum. Is that what you're gonna say? No. We should look. We Let should it. look it up. Is it? Is it? Look it up and then we'll re- do that again. Yeah. I, like because it, it changed a couple times. It did change Hold. Times. Oh, well, I'm, it's gonna take me forever to find. Do you it. want to pause? It's just, just like. Gonna take um, yeah, well, don't worry about it. Then. I have we'll, no information we'll about it. that out. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, I was trying to do a good thing. No, no. I, you were, I was with you. I was, and then I was realized that I didn't know all the notes okay. either. Yeah. I, well, we can look sp- it up and then record a separate yeah. like promo for it. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Uh, that's basically it. I had one more topic. Do we want to do one more? Yeah, why not? We're here recording. Okay, Let's you know that it. really sweet. You probably you've never probably never seen her wrestle, but that really sweet lady Beth Phoenix who was doing commentary on yeah. mm-hmm. the Mae Young Classic. Yep, she's wrestling again. Why is everybody oh, coming after her? She because she was like an, a sweet announcer lady, and now she's going to team with Natalia in WrestleMania. Oh, and, fun. oh, Naya and Tamina are like in the same match. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. like That'd really be coming really for fun, her. Actually, that'll be a fun match. Um. And then Sasha and Bailey. I like Beth, Beth Phoenix. I, she seems like such a nice lady. They're doing the thing, though. Naya and Tamina are turning into real heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like big time. Yeah. I want to see Sasha and Bailey go down to NXT and fight Io and Kyrie. That's what I want. Does that happen? No, but it could because the, the women's tag titles are defended across brands. <gasps> so they can, Sasha and Bailey went to NXT and they were like, by the way, we can fight here again. So like they might do some NXT. Cool. Matches. I'm about it. Yeah. Chelsea green versus Sasha Banks. Oh yeah. fuck. <gasps> Lots of flippy flippies and craziness. Yeah. They, <gasps> if like Chelsea green gets herself in a new NXT tag team. Oh, but she's injured right now. It could still happen. I need One Chelsea day. green to do everything. Yeah. Who else? Mia Yim could fight Sasha Banks. Lots of great options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreams come true in weird ways. All right. That's it. That's all I got. I don't want to talk about this anymore. We talked about uh, so many things. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, As always, if you are on the iTunes and you would like to uh, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, share, share all of the things that you're supposed to do to make our podcast more popular. We're counting on you. We need you. You're our only hope. Um, otherwise, we're just sitting here screaming into the ether. I love that I get in trouble for going off, but that was off. You went off right there. Look, we got to close the podcast somehow. Everyone, thanks for listening. Bye. We- oh, what did you say was your new sign off? Oh, and I hope you have a great day. What did you oh, say? let's make it a great day. <laughs>